in the name of my ancestors. Hmm. Peace, Father, and always, and welcome to another edition of the Realities Temple on Earth Internet Ministry. Of course, I am the gatekeeper of this particular program, known here on YouTube and various places as the mighty, 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 uh, angel snub number seven. I am your brother and hopefully your friend, Talik Even Ra. What brings me to this particular subject was a documentary I was watching on the History Channel, I believe it was, about the history of the pink European peoples. And a light shineth in the dark when the narrator was explaining the sexual practice of the pink European people in their uh, ancient times. Now, I also would like for you to reference this book It is called African Holistic Health by, I believe that's pronounced Layla O Africa. Layla O Africa. Reference this book by this brother and read the chapters in reference to this topic about sex practices. As a child, even before puberty, being an extensive reader about various top topics, I always wondered why do or why does it seem that the human being has or practices sexual behaviors anytime they feel like it? However, in nature, you see animals in the wild. That's the key, y'all. In the wild. Animals in the wild. Animals who are free. Listen, animals who are wild. Animals that are free. They have certain times dedicated to the mating or breeding process. In the wild, those who are free, that's the yo key. Again, let us please pick up this book or uh, rent the book, go to the library maybe, get this book and read what this brother has to say about natural sex behavior. Now, <laughs> this is the ironic thing. It's African Holistic Health by a brother who calls himself Africa. Once you begin to read what he has to say about natural, natural sex practices, y'all don't want to talk about that African stuff. <laughs> Woo, these black Afrocentric... Black power, y'all so fake. You institutionalized and you are Europeanized. In other words, y'all have become some nasty, nasty, filthy things. And I'll tell you why. This is the reason why. Again, I was watching this documentary about European sexual behaviors. And in that documentary, 
in early European history, the pink people, their breeding process, their breeding behaviors was based on the seasons. Their breeding process was almost like any other mammal that was wild and free. They waited for a certain period of time. So when these babies were born, and I want to tell you something else. These sexual behaviors were primarily done during the daylight hours because it is natural for the human being to be active during the day. The human being, the human mammal, you are not nocturnal. You are not of the night. You are not of the dark. You are of the daylight. Your eyes, everything that you are, is in reference or is based in daylight living. You are not nocturnal. If you were nocturnal, you could see like a bat. You could see like a possum. Any type of animals that are of the night. But you are not. You are of the day. You respond to daylight. You only operate during the night hours because you're forced to when you have no choice because you another key word because you are forced to now so if the European had a time period so when they made it during a certain time period, they could expect their babies to be born like any other mammal during the spring. Nine months later, after sexual intercourse, the mating process, the babies would be born during springtime when it's warm, when life is supposed to come to this part of the earth. Like, like the bear, like the fox. Like the rabbits, all all other mammals that are or live by daylight hours. But something in human history caused the human being to break their sexual timing. What happened? Something caused the human being, whether you are a pink person or a Native American person, or a human being, period. Something caused the human being to get out of time. Now you have no breeding hour. You have no particular time for breeding. You have sex. You do whatever you feel, anytime you feel like it. Babies are born anytime. There is no control over sexual behavior. There is no control over reproduction. There is no control. You become a sexual pervert. You are witnessing in this society and all over the earth sexual perversion, unnatural sexual behaviors. What happened to cause us to be like this? And whatever broke the timing, whatever broke this cycle, it has gone so long that you think that it is natural. But it's not. If you think it's butter, but it's not, it's chiffon. <laughs> Y'all remember that old commercial? Something is wrong. We have become an unnatural people. There's no way that you are a mammal. Even though you make this claim that we are so intelligent, you are still a mammal. And you should still be under some type of law. Some type of, there must be some type of balance. Something that controls your sexual behavior. There must be sexual timing. Something is wrong. What happened to throw us out of time? What is it that make us an unnatural 
people. Do you know what happened? Slavery is what happened. Slavery is what threw the human being out of time. Now you are unnatural. You have no breeding period. You are unbalanced. Mm, mm, mm. So, when the sexual behavior became enslaved, and see, slave to be a slave person doesn't necessarily mean that you have chains on yourself. A enslaved person means that somebody or something controls your behaviors controls what you do. So you must you must behave in an unnatural way outside of what is natural to us as people. Oh wow. I want us again. I want you to pick up this book and understand that brothers and sisters and anybody listening to this video, the human being has become an unnatural being. So what happens to the slave when you, what happens to the slave, your sexual behaviors, when you become not wild, you're no longer free. When a person or an animal becomes domesticated, another key word, when a person or an animal becomes enslaved, when that person or animal becomes domesticated, y'all listen, here we go, y'all ready? Because now I'm getting ready to explain exactly what happened to us as a human family, regardless to your race, all of us suffer from an unnatural behavior. This what this is what happened to the human being. Now listen. So you're out of time. You have no breeding period. You just have sex and produce babies anytime that you feel like it. Now look. 